first fish on the three uh, four inch minnow. It's a nice spotted bass. There we go, folks. Yes. I was guarantee it's a small mouth. I switched to a Rebel Crawdad. They just weren't getting twisted tail today. Had a very tight one at that. Um, it's the first up on this river I've caught one of these. The furthest up I've ever caught one. I'm lucky it didn't break my line because I only got six, about eight pound line. Their teeth are vicious. 
fishes. It's a fish nonetheless. He's happy to get in tonight. this river. Now I know. I got my first fish. Could be a white bass, but it's looking like a drum. I think I'm gonna fish with night crawlers because they're not hitting lures. It'll at least I'll catch something. I'm about to put two more poles out on the bottom. Yeah it's a big drum. Nice one. and weights and worms and going back over there. I'm going to get worms a chance. Uh, so lures, it's real slow right now. I'm actually keeping this for the uh, friend of my girlfriend's, the Filipino lady. That's what it's feeling like. It's decent though, it's a couple pounds. One thing you gotta do with this place is keep these fish high off that bottom because you'll get snagged in a heartbeat in them boulders. Oh yeah, that's putting up a good fight. He's about the same size as earlier, two or three pounds. I'm almost sure that's what it is. White bass will be fighting way harder than this. I think the white bass are done. Maybe a tiny few that's still in here, but if they're biting, it's gonna be right at dark. Well, he's trying to get me hung up. That's a big old channel cat I'll take this any day oh she's gonna love this for dinner oh yeah man not what I expected at all oh he's four pounds oh and I gotta bite on my other pole oh goodness I gotta get him oh boy <clears throat> oh I hate when this happens Come on, take it so I can set the hook. There he is. Give me a double. Come on, give me a double. Pull in. 
a worm lip anyway. Now this is a decent channel cat here, folks. Good, perfect eating size. That's the exact size you want when you want to eat them before they get that strong flavor. Oh yeah, nice channel cat. Oh, come here, you. Oh, yeah, nice. My patience finally paid off with fishing with live bait. The lure fishing just got really boring to the point where I'm just casting over and over, not getting nothing. Of course, it's midday, and that's why. But right here, that is a beautiful channel cat. He'll definitely go four pounds. Wow. Now I got at least something worth showing, bragging about a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna get the pliers right here. Thank God I already got them out. And then he's going in the bucket. All right, let's get him in the bucket. I'll hold him up for a second for you guys. Not bad. Nice little channel cat. It's not a monster, but it's, you know, good farm pond size, decent eating size. I'm happy with it. Could just be a drum, but it's decent size, whatever. I hope it's another channel cat. That's what I'm hoping. Please be a channel cat. It's acting more like a channel now. It's not a drum. I don't think it's, yes, it's a flathead. Yes. All right. Little guy, but it's a flathead. Oh, man. All right. A little corner. Yeah, about a pound. A little flathead. Oh, and he inhaled that thing. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to cut the line again. Got my weight back, but not that. Hey, it's a different kind anyway. A little bitty flathead, but it is a flathead. It's a different kind, so I got a channel, a drum, and a flathead. Again, a real nice one, whatever it is. Please don't be a drum. Give me another flathead. Give me another flathead. It is, still don't know. It's going deep. It's acting like a catfish. It's going straight down and it's spinning. No, it's a dang drum, man. Another two pounder like I had earlier. Oh, two pounder um let her keep it because she like yeah, folks I just caught my second flathead. It's a little tiny guy, he's too small to keep. I'm not gonna bother keeping this one. Alright, I'm gonna 
put him back. It's a real little one. Little baby flathead. Pretty little thing, though. decent one whatever this is it's big pretty dang big oh yeah whoa oh yeah it's got a good pull to it this one's at least three or four pounds I'd say it's a keeper and it's acting like a cat so far I could be wrong I've been wrong a lot so Let's just hope it's a flathead. And we'll finally have a good bucket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, it is. Woohoo! Flathead. All right. It's a nice one. That's a decent flathead right here. Get in the water for him. Oh, yeah. Man. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. Nice flathead. That's what I'm talking about. My trip made it. My, my trip was worth it now. And once again, he swallowed the damn hook and wait. There's no possible chance of ever getting it back. Dang. Now this one, folks, this one here, he's about five pounds. Ah, four. He's a good flathead, though. Good eating size. Pretty decent one. He put up a good fight. Tell you what, I'm going to be getting into catfishing a lot soon. Just to do something different. I used to do it a lot when I was in my 20s. For blues and flatheads, setting trot lines. And a lot of Mississippi River and... Uh, haven't got, kind of got away from it for a while. Let's get one more good look at him and I'm gonna put him in the bucket. Not bad, I got two flatheads, a channel, and a lob drum. That fish finally paid off. Boy, just imagine if I had some live bluegill and I can't even catch one. Uh, I could be getting the big boys, but uh, I'm just using worms and it's working fine, but they tend to be all the smaller size when you use worms. 